Hey guys, my name's Chris and this is Taylor Welding and I got my x-ray hands here. They just got through shooting my pipe and I wanted to ask them a few questions and get some feedback from them of what they've seen normally and uh, just kind of what they do and what's up. Because there's some welder out there I know that's scared to death x-ray like I was a long time ago. <laughs> so yeah. what's like the most things y'all see? Uh, the most common, if you're talking pipelines, uh, would probably be like lack of fusion or not uh, or in, uh, insufficient penetration slag lines stuff like that that's typically what we're going to look for on that you don't or burn throughs yeah, is another one burn occasional burn through what's like the number one thing slag number one thing would be slag yep. is that from not grinding enough you think usually it's not grinding i mean if, if you don't know how the uh, a pipeline work would you do but Usually it's just grinding over it again after so many people have gone over it and made this weld all together. And also rushing. Trying and to rushing is a big one. Going. Production. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but out of just normal stuff, usually uh, slag and burn throughs are usually, or porosity is what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. That was like I what, that word. <laughs> what I was going for with yours was porosity. Like on fab and stuff like that, we'll find porosity more than we will. He was going for something. What do you mean you were going <laughs> well, for? Well, no, no. You know, I shot behind you. Did enough. you see anything? No, I did not. You were Yours were clean as usual. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't, that wasn't very bad. Um, uh, what else? Well, We'll talk about porosity. I'll make a whole video on it because it will haunt you. And it, once you start getting it, it's like you can't quit because there's something usually off. But let's talk about a burn through. We know we've covered slag and, and porosity. A burn through is when you it opens up on the bottom and you don't cram it in there and keep going. You'll It'll open up and then you'll just pull out and then you'll seal it up. That happens a lot. There's several different things that can happen, but that's one of the main things. Uh, if that happens, just cram it in there and then look at it if you can. Yeah, Grind it thin, go back through it again. That's what I always do. Yes. Um, yes. What, what does it look like on film? Like a big dark? Uh, on, a, on film, it is just a giant black spot. That's all it really is. There's usually, it looks kind of like, honestly, it looks like a fisheye. That's what we call them. It's because you'll have a giant dark round area and then it'll be lighter around it. Kind of like a fisheye. Like you would imagine like an right. actual fisheye would look like. And uh, that's what we know immediately that it's a burn through. If it has a lighter area where there's more metal, like kind of like you said, when you pulled off and it kind of pulled right there, mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. Is that big dark area with a light with lighter, where you can see that there's more metal around it. Right. And it gives it a, it gives it a look of a of a fish eye. Okay. Well. And how you fix that? Like I said, we whenever we see that. If you get rid of that, you know, it's passable as long as you get rid of that dark area. So if you know that you've done it, it's best just to go ahead and cram more metal into it, like you were saying. That's a good point. You break it up. Yes. If you can, if you got a bad spot and you can't get all of it, just try to get as much as you can and it'll, it'll separate the problems yes, because and it'll we pass x-ray. We have a code book that goes with it too. Just because we saw it doesn't mean that we're going to bust it. Right. That's the thing that you always got to remember as well. You know, we have we have to measure it out. We have to see if it's in code. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, just because you, you had a, a burn through, don't lose your mind after you fixed it. Just just do the best you can and we'll look at it. Now, let's talk about x-ray. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I don't know. Bad x-ray. I've had x-rays called on me that were nothing. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? And I don't ever get mad at the x-ray guy because he's got to, if he sees it, he's got to say something. Yeah, and I right. get that. But what could that be? Mud in the pipe, I know. Man, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff on that. It's usually just a shadow on the film. Like I said, we have to interpret it the best we can. That's why it's called film interpretation. Is we have to make the best judgment call. This isn't an exact science. I know everybody thinks it is. But it's really not. We have to interpret it the best way that we can to figure out what it is. So, you know, if you see something on the film, could be an, a shadow, or we call it a shadow, where maybe one of your, you know, your uh, your passes kind of overlapped another mm -hmm. one. I've had that happen before. And too. it'll it can make a dark it makes line. a dark line, yeah. Yeah, on the film, it makes a dark line that we see. If you got a bead and you start back over and it kind of overlaps the other one, it'll, it'll look like a dark line. I've cut them apart and seen that and be like, it's a fine, it's a well, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. You know? But 
that's cool, man. I just want to get y'all real quick because oh, yeah, no, some of the best X-ray hands out here because they said my wells were good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, bro. Man, the only thing I would say is just don't be scared of the X-ray guys. I know uh, we, we're we trying to do the best we can as well. We don't want to see you guys fix it because that means that's more that we have to do have as well so if we can help y'all if you don't if you if, don't be afraid of us if you want to come up to us and ask us questions or see how we're doing you know that's great the only a bit of advice i'll give you guys is we have heard the joke that this was you know i don't need any more kids around this radiation more times than you could possibly imagine it's not funny to us anymore it's really not if you could do that i'll pass your welds on that if you don't do that <laughs> All right, guys, this is Chris, and this is Taylor Welding. Thomas Claiborne. Brian Parker. Thanks for coming on, guys. I will see y'all tomorrow.